So I'm going to tell you about something that happened around 2012. I was temporarily living with my mom and I was sleeping on her couch. And one day while I was asleep, I had a really scary experience. First of all, I want to say I had, before that, I, I had cats and stuff like that. And for a while I had really bad asthma. But during the time that I was staying with my mom, the asthma was clearing up. So I was thankful that like within like a year and a half, two years, something like that, it was completely gone. But anyway, I could not sleep with a pillow or a blanket or anything covering my face because I wouldn't be able to breathe. And that was something that I always tried to make sure nothing was covering my face while I was sleeping because I was afraid I would suffocate to death or something. And uh, so this one day, while I was asleep, uh, a blanket came up over my face. And somehow I knew this while I was asleep. It's like spiritually I was somehow kind of out of my body and I was aware that I was in serious trouble physically because this thing was covering my face, this blanket. And this is, I don't really know how else to explain this. This was a very, very weird experience, but I, it's like I was there, but I was somehow like outside my body too. I don't know, maybe I was literally outside of my body. I'm not totally sure, but I kept thinking, I need to wake up. I need to wake up so I can push this off of my face. And I started to feel like I was leaving my body. Like my body was starting to shut down. And th this is the kind of the freaky part. I felt hands scooping me up off of the couch. Nobody was there. I don't think my mom was home. I don't think it, and nobody was around me. It was just me, um, at least physically. But I, I could feel without any doubt, this was somebody. I felt a person there, arms, hand, their hands and arms. They were scooping me up and like lifting me. Like if you've ever been laying down and someone has just kind of picked you up you remember being a kid like that, being carried. Uh, and I do that with my kids sometimes. But I, like, legit, somebody was starting to pick me up. And I believe they were picking up my spirit. As physically, I, I do think I was dying physically. I think my body was shutting down because I was suffocating. Because I couldn't breathe. And I was fighting it. I was, I didn't feel any pain. But I was really, really fighting it and telling myself to wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. And eventually I did. And all of that stopped. I woke up and I was like, oh, get off my face, get off my face. And, you know, I sat up and nobody was there with me. But I, I don't know really where I was with God at the time. So I don't know for sure if it was an angel or something else. I don't know where exactly I was with God at the time because shortly before this happened, I had really kind of slipped away from God. I was like, I think really in a bad place, but I, I definitely felt somebody was scooping me up in their arms. So I want to believe that it would have been an angel of God about to carry me to heaven, but I really don't know. I just know that I had that experience and it was really, really weird and scary, but that somehow I managed, somehow I managed to wake up, to force myself out of that. But the strange thing about that was I was actually dying in my sleep. And I didn't feel any pain. I didn't feel myself suffocating, but I knew, like I said, it's like I was kind of outside of my body. I 
like I was right beside my body in a way. Or maybe I was sitting up. My spirit was sitting up. Or something. I don't know. I really don't know. Because even then, if I was outside of my body, it wouldn't if it, the spirit or whatever it was was scooping up my spirit. And I am a spirit. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. That is so weird. But I experienced that. That was so freaky. But, yeah, that's, um... I've had a lot of weird experiences throughout my life. And if you've seen different videos I put out there, I'm talking about them right now until I start doing like Bible, real Bible teachings. But so yeah, that was another weird spiritual experience that I wanted to share. Uh, and it does make me think though, that people who die in their sleep, maybe they don't really feel it. I knew a woman years ago who had died. Well, she wasn't pronounced dead right away, but she had had a brain aneurysm in her sleep and she was in like a coma and they did pull the plugs on her. But, um, I wondered that, did she even know, did she feel it? Or like people who die in their sleep, do they just leave their bodies and, and realize, Whoa, what just happened? I, last thing I knew I went, to, I went to bed. Um, who knows, but Anyway, so thank you for watching, and uh, I will be posting new videos. Let me know if you have any ideas or if there's anything you want me to talk about specifically, because right now I'm doing more of like talking more about spiritual or what some call paranormal experiences, and I'm probably going to just kind of unload all of these stories until I'm out, <laughs> and then I'll start teaching other things. So anyway, God bless you guys.